Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be testing three different types of PVC cement used by plumbers and do-it-yourself homeowners to see which one has the strongest bond after curing 24 hours. For this test, I'll be using three 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipes cut to 24 inches. The three pieces were all cut from a brand new 10 foot length. And as you can see right here, the pipe was not made too long ago. The PVC caps and female adapters all came out of the same box and are also new. Each pipe will have a cap and female adapter solvent welded to each end according to the instructions provided by the manufacturer. Once the gluing process has been completed for all three pipes, I will allow the PVC cement to fully cure for 24 hours before pressure testing each pipe. To perform the pressure test, I'll be using this 10 ton hydraulic hand pump with a 5,000 PSI liquid filled gauge attached. The half inch male adapter at the end of the hose will thread into the half inch female adapter on the three quarter inch pipe. Each one of the pipes will be pressurized until a failure occurs. Over here we'll be using OD purple primer costing around $5.50, OD regular cement costing around $6, OD hot medium blue lava cement costing around $7.25, and Christie's red hot blue glue which costs around $9 if you purchase the same size 8 ounce can. Of course, if you buy the primer and cement as a kit, the prices will be lower. All these cans were purchased only a few days ago. The application process is the same for all types. First, I'm going to place a bevel on each end of the PVC pipes, apply a coating of purple primer to clean and soften the PVC, then immediately apply the PVC cement to the pipe as well as the inside of the fitting. More glue will be applied to the outside of the pipe and less to the inside of the fitting. I will then very quickly slide the fitting all the way over the pipe using a quarter turn twisting motion, then hold the fitting in place for 30 seconds. Okay, let me bevel all the pipes and start with the OD regular cement first. You see everything is marked, R for regular cement, C for Christie's blue, and OB for OD blue. We're going to apply the primer to the cap and we're gonna do the same thing to the pipe. Work it in, make sure there's enough on there. And while that's still damp or wet, we're going to apply the PVC cement. We're going to put some in the cap, and then we're going to put more on the pipe itself. Slide the cap all the way onto the pipe, twist and hold for 30 seconds. Now we're going to repeat the process on the opposite end using the half inch female adapter. And right here you can see all three pipes are ready to go. I'm going to allow these to cure for 24 hours. 
The regular OD cement pipe is now ready for testing. Before I pressurize the pipe, I first want to mention something that I discovered after I uploaded the previous PVC pipe pressure testing video. In my other video, two of the pipes during the test appeared to have the pressure reach a certain level and then stop rising. I thought it was the result of a small leak between the pipe and the fitting, but after additional testing, I discovered that the walls of the pipe were expanding outward prior to the pipe bursting or a failure of a PVC fitting. I also discovered that you can take a 10 foot section of PVC pipe, cut it into four or five equal lengths and have each section fail at varying pressure levels. Due to more than likely a slight variation in the pipe's wall thickness throughout the length of pipe. Knowing that, it makes it very difficult to test PVC pipe or bonding agents because you cannot guarantee that the test pipes will all fail at the same pressure. But we're going to give it a try anyway, just to see how it goes. Remember, if you see the pressure stop rising as I'm pumping, you're going to know a failure is close. that was pretty loud. We reached 1175 PSI, which is lower than around 1500 PSI from my other video, but the pipe burst instead of a fitting blowing off. I'll take the pieces out of the water, place them off to the side, so we can look at all three at the end. The OD blue pipe is now ready for testing. Eleven hundred PSI and that pressure was slightly lower than the first test. Let me pull the pieces out of the water and set up the Christie's pipe next. Wow, I had my doubts that the pipe was going to blow. I had the very small leak along with the pipe blowing up like a balloon. All three pipes within 100 PSI of each other, much lower than the last three quarter inch pipe that I tested, made by the same manufacturer that was only made about a month ago. The temperature of the water for this test was very similar to the temperature of the water for my first video. And right here you can see all three pipes lined up. As you can see, all the fittings held up, even though the Christie cement developed a very tiny leak by the female adapter, there's always a chance that not enough cement was applied, so I do not want to say that Christie's is no good. All of them did very well. In my opinion, after working with PVC pipes for the past 30 years, I would say go with the OD regular cement. It's less money, it applies much more easily to the pipe, it's more uniform when you apply it, you don't have to wait a long time for it to cure. But if you do need a PVC cement that's going to cure very quickly, I would recommend going with one of the blue cements like the OD Blue or the Christie's Blue. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.